Hey, so in today's race, we are doing the online daily race. I am racing actually one of my favorite cars right now in its class. And uh, yeah, the Freddy Gudu um, Z. It's, I don't know, it's a Gran Turismo car. But anyways, uh, starting off in fourth, uh, what I like to do in these online races is just the fact of just taking the first corner absolutely wide. Now, I don't race ever because my racing level isn't the greatest, but I, I don't race against the top racers in the world. My, my race rating is very low. So what we really get down to having is just a ba basically a big crash the first lap. Uh, I'm starting to get hit anyways by the back, but I don't get any penalties, which is fantastic. And I've moved myself up to second because I was able to play conservatively, but I still get hit on corner number three. Now, either way, I'm still in second, and I've, I'm, I have basically set myself up to succeed after the first three corners. Now, with this corner here, whoa, got hit by be from behind from that guy. Uh, number, first place was able to smash up, and he is unable to control himself at all, and uh, he just ghosted out, thank God. And, uh, yeah, so I have set myself up. I'm in uh, third right now and first position, fourth position now, but th third position now right in front of me is screwing me up, but at least he's got himself a penalty, and he's going to be getting out of my way fairly soon. We can see that this is just basically an, an, a free-for-all uh, when it comes to the this lower level of racing. It's quite interesting, actually, but at least I've set myself up. I'm in third position, which is better than fourth where I started. And I'm going back, and I've finished my first lap. From there, going on to my second lap, we're, we're going to try and catch up. We're going to try and get into second or first. Again, we're going to try and take this one wide. There's always people who try to dive bomb it, where we're going to try and take the inside after going wide. Try to get around this corner a bit quicker this time. Now, I've caught up on first and second position. They, they tend to be fighting out right now, and they are still fighting out that first position, which is fine because it's going to allow me to catch up quite a bit. And now, I can actually drive uh, pretty well perfectly when it comes to uh, being all alone and not having a lot of cars around me smashing into me. So, that's what's going to happen uh, with the two cars in front of me. I'm already catching up when it comes to lap time. And uh, second position just absolutely slid out. I think he was trying to rear end or something uh, first place and that just did not work for him. Now he's going to be taking wide and cutting in on me so I'm going to try and break and not allow, and just basically allow him to have it. He's uh, playing fairly aggressively but he is a Brazilian and from my experience the Brazilians tend to in the lower levels play very aggressively. But that's totally fine. We're going to both hit that wall. I should have taken that corner just a bit more wider at the beginning, but I just didn't. But I am at least in his slipstream. I'm going to be able to gain second position, hopefully, by the end of this this first or second lap. And it doesn't look like it, but at least by the next corner, we should be able to catch up by being in his slipstream. It seems like we are somewhat staying roughly even just outside of his slipstream. Now, he's not taking this corner uh, the way he should have, and that's going to allow him to go out wide. I'm now comfortably, in my opinion, in second position. He's going to take the right side, but he's going to have to break to try and get that corner right. Now, I'm up on the grass, which is totally fine. He's going to slip through, and we're going to try and take a little bit of his slipstream. We both took that corner pretty well. And somehow, that well, that car does have more power than I do, so he will be able to pull away on the straightaways. I'm going to be much better when it comes around the corners, and I'm going to be able to take his slipstream until the corners come. So, at this point, we are still battling for first position. First position isn't having to battle at all, but uh, when it comes to second position here, it seems like I'm going to be able to somehow soon be able to get it out. He got himself a half a second penalty, so I should be able to catch up to him at least uh, next half lap. From there, we're just going to have to try and battle it out and just be a better better racer altogether. We're going to try and basically have a better racing line and be able to catch up. Uh, nothing's going to happen along this straightaway. We're just going along. There's nobody basically behind me for five and a half seconds. So we're going to be able to take this corner perfectly. 
So I'm going to take it out and cut in basically nice and tight, which he is as well. But he's got that penalty, and I'm able to accelerate more straight out of this corner. So I should be able to pick up a little bit of time. Now, very soon, coming up very soon, he's going to have to slow down. But I just screwed up and went a little bit wide once again. That corner always screws me up. But we are on our second last lap, and it doesn't look like we're doing all that bad. He's going to have to serve his penalty right now, but that's not going to slow him down all that much. It's only a half a second. So we're going to try and continue to catch up. I'm going to take this corner a little bit hotter than normal, but I'm going to be able to cut in underneath of him because, again, heavier cars, I've mentioned this in other videos, heavier cars tend to not be able to get around corners as well as lighter cars, which is why I chose this car over a more powerful car. You really have to uh, pick your poison, I guess you, I should say. And it looks like I cut the corner because of that pylon. That is weird. Some of these, the, some of these penalties are a bit weird in the Gran Turismo. But uh, let me know if you've ever had any weird penalties. Uh, so we are close to a strip stream. I, I hope I can try and get into his strip uh, slip stream. Um, we're only. Uh, about five seconds off the lead so I'm hoping this is my last lap or coming up to my last lap so I'm hoping that I can get in on uh, first place but that seems to be uh, out of reach at five seconds but I'm gonna try and cut this corner a little bit tighter this time I'm in his slipstream in uh, second place so I'm getting closer we're getting there um, but yeah, we're, we're, I'm thinking we're looking pretty good right now. He's going out a little bit wide, which is good. That's what I usually do, but I've learned not to. Now, I've mentioned this in a few other videos, but I uh, like to go down to second gear uh, when I get my penalties because it just allows me to accelerate quicker out of that penalty, even though it's only a half a second. So I'm still five seconds away from the league, but I am in second. He is going to dive bomb me on the inside, but that's okay. I'll let him have that because he's just going to go out and have some oversteer or understeer I can never remember which way it goes which but we're gonna try and cut this corner perfectly which I sort of do but uh, look at first place he just went ghosted he uh, he lost control so I've, I've gained about four seconds off of his mistake let's see if he can mess up again which he does he hits that wall now it's going to be basically a a drag race to the finished who can finish this race off faster well I'm gonna take a little bit of a slipstream I've got it now I'm gonna try and drag race and right to the uh, I got first I win anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you have hit that like button subscribe I'll see you guys again next time